I'm back with a video. I decided. I found a funny brownie yesterday, and if you can see it, it's a two cent New Zealand coin. I've never seen one before. Is the camera going to focus on it? Come on. Come on. It's got a flower looking thing on it. Look at that. That's cool. Wonder how it's going to come out when the tumbler's gone over it. <laughs> and then I've got all my ones and twos. And I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six silvers in that silver little bar I found. Pendant. Two pennies. Get them in the picture. One half penny. And just a heap of dollars and two dollars and a few bits and pieces and that gold ring which was before. And I've got a few bits. So I didn't do too bad because I didn't do much hunting this month. Well, this month coming I'm going to do. Thanks for watching. Do this quick video. Well, in there, there's pennies, brownies. Everything's in there for the first wash. You just don't use any chemicals, any soaps or anything to make them change colour. You just chuck them all in. And I use fish tank rocks. We'll have to get a bit more water, I think. There's not enough water. And you don't fill the machine right up either. I do sometimes. All depends. But I've got a hell of a lot of coins in there this time. Language. About that much. Just straight water for your first tumble for an hour. Then after that, you can separate all the coins. And then you can clean them up from there. To the next video, I'll put it up after I do the hour. Put this in. This is the tumble I'm using. One of them cheap ones from eBay. And the thing is, all the uh, silvery looking stuff starting to come off the wheels. Just tumbled a couple of thousand dollars worth of coins. Now I've had a couple of mishaps with the tops trying to blow off and putting a, a bit of CLR and water in there. Works okay, but it blows the seal out. Because it's spinning around and starts getting hot for no reason. So I thought I'd put that in here too. This is what it looks like um, after the first hour. Oh, I accidentally pulled that on the wash machine. No matter. Won't hurt it, it's a wash machine. There we go. I might get some prizes in there. I'm just going to sort through it and then I'll get it back to you after I rinse it. Here we go. I just cleaned out the, um, the coins out of the rocks. Fish tank rocks. I knew I had that silver. That was the one I got yesterday on the beach. No, Friday on the beach. It'll be a 52. I didn't clean it properly yet. There's a sixpence from before. It's uh, 1958. Let's see if you can see it. 58, some pennies, a half penny. Oh, that one I said it would probably clean up in there. Look how beautiful it is now after it went through the tumbler. Oh, that's that strange coin I didn't clean from the month before. I threw it in the tumbler, so to let it go, see what happens. It looks all right, whatever it is. And all me two and one dollar coins, and there was a junk ring. I thought it was a junk ring. It's a junk ring, all right. I sent it through the tumbler, and see it come out. Copper, brass, whatever. Kids ring. And these things, I couldn't work out what they were on the beach, but they're off someone's pants. So the clip front and back, the pants must have rotted away. And I've got two of them front and back buttons. There you go. To wrap up, I've just given the old toying tumbler a bit of a clean up. Thanks for watching.